In these problems, we're dealing with something called combination. And this is a way to calculate how many ways there are to put together groups. You've seen permutation already. Permutation is like combination, uh, but we use it in situations where the order of things is important. With combination, the order doesn't matter. So look at this first problem. It says a committee is to consist of four members, and there are four men and seven women available to serve. So that's a total of 11 people. So we're choosing four members from 11, and it doesn't matter what order we choose them in. So this is a combination. The formula for a combination is similar to that of a permutation. You still have n factorial on top. On the bottom, you have another element. You have the n minus r factorial, but you also have that multiplied by r factorial. The result is that combinations are smaller than permutations, so the answers the numbers should be a little bit smaller. Well, let's see if we can calculate this first one. Our n is 11, so I'm going to have 11 factorial on the top. And r is 4, the number of people we're choosing. So that's 4 factorial times n minus r factorial. 11 minus 4 is 7, so 7 factorial. Now let's see if we can simplify this. Well, 11 factorial is 11 times 10 times 9 times 8. And then from 7 on down, it's the same as 7 factorial. So I can just not write that and cancel out this 7 factorial. What we have left on the bottom then is 4 factorial. I'm going to write that as 4 times 3 times 2. So now we need to multiply this together, um, divide by what's on the bottom. So 11 times 10 times 9 times 8. And I'm going to divide that by 24. And I got 330 for that one. Might want to double check my, my math just to make sure. All right, let's look at this next one. It says four cards are drawn from a standard deck of 52. How many sets of four are possible? Oof. These numbers are going to be big. You can tell already from the answer choices. N here is 52, and R is 4. So we would set up 52 factorial over 4 factorial times 52 minus 4, which is 48 factorial. All right, so we can write this as 52 times 51 times 50 times 49, and then everything 48 down is going to cancel with this 48 factorial, and then this all goes over 4 factorial. <clears throat> and 4 factorial is, let me just rewrite that, 4 times 3 times 2. All right, let me pull out my calculator. So I'm punching in 52 times 51 times 50 times 49, and then we're going to divide by 24. And I got 270,725 ways to draw four cards from a standard deck. Whew. All right, let's see if we can figure out this next one. It says, a soft drink company decides to test seven different brands of, of cola. The different brands have been labeled D, E, F, G, H, I, and J. The company decides to compare each brand with the other brands by pairing together different brands. How many different pairs will result from selecting two different brands at a time? Okay, so we're choosing two things out of a group of seven. So N equals seven here, and R equals two. So we're going to have 7 factorial, n factorial, over r factorial times n minus r factorial. 7 minus 2 is 5. All right, so this one, this is 7 times 6 times, well, then, then the rest of that is 5 factorial, so I can get rid of that. And 2 factorial is really just 2. So that's 42 divided by 2. That is 21 ways to pair those 7 soft drinks together. This last one is a notation you, you also might see. Sometimes when we do um, uh, a combination, you'll see it like this with little numbers down here. This would be the N, and this would be the R. Uh, it's also written in parentheses like this with the N first and the R second. So just know that this is N, and this is R, and do it the way you regularly would. So N factorial over R, R factorial times N minus R factorial. So that's 8 factorial over 2 factorial times 6 factorial. And let's do 8 times 7, and then the 6 on down will make this cancel. And this is over 2 factorial, which is just 2. So that's 56 divided by 2. That is 
28. So that is a little bit of work with combinations.